What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is John and today I'm going to give you my list on the top 10 best tools for working on cars. These tools are in no particular order, just some of my favorites that I use on a daily basis. I will start off the list with an air hammer. Air hammers are very useful. You can use them to pry, to push, and of course, to hammer. There are also a ton of useful attachments available for them that will make your life as an auto tech even easier. Next on the list is an electric 3 8 impact gun. I use this almost every single day of my life. It's strong enough to break most bolts loose and it beats using a ratchet to take the bolts all the way out. Being that it is electric, I don't have to worry about an airline getting in the way. To follow up on the impact gun, the best companion is an electric ratchet. While these aren't as strong as the gun itself, they will get the job done. This is the long neck version, which gives it the advantage of getting into tight areas where the body of the ratchet itself will not fit. This is nice for those jobs that you don't have much room to swing a ratchet, but be warned, these tend to sneak up on you while tightening a bolt. Sometimes you're going to have to get into tight areas, you may have dropped a bolt or you need to take a connector off and sometimes you can't reach that stuff with your fingers. This is where long handle pliers come into play. These are great for doing many tasks. They offer more leverage over your standard plier sets and tend to get the job done much quicker. Did you ever have to compress a set of calibers after changing your brake pads? Of course you have because that's how you do it. And I'm sure you used a big set of channel locks. Well, say goodbye to them because ratcheting caliper compressors exist. You might have used a twist style caliper compressor and couldn't get the piston to go back in or you have a caliper that is seized. Nine times out of 10, the ratcheting caliper compressor can push that piston back in without you even breaking a sweat. These will speed up your brake jobs by quite a bit. I'm sure you've come across a bolt that was hard to get back in or you may have hit a wheel stow with a hammer on accident. A thread chaser kit will aid you in restoring the original threads of the bolt without having to cut new ones. My favorite thing to do with these is to chase the threads on a drain plug that has a tough time coming out. Hammers are a common tool used in automotive. There are many types to choose from and it's smart and efficient to have access to multiple hammers. Dead blow, sledge, even ball peen, they all come in handy at one point or another. If you work at a garage or even just doing stuff at your home garage, tool carts are nice to have. You can put your tools inside and wheel the cart around the vehicle. You can even store your most used tools in them to be more efficient at work. Some even offer you a work surface for various tasks to be completed. This is actually my toolbox, but it speeds up my workflow by allowing me to have access to my entire tool arsenal at all times. Regular wrenches are nice and all, but having a good set of ratcheting wrenches has saved the day for me more times than I can count. Ratchet wrenches allow you to get into tight areas where a normal ratchet and socket will not fit. They can even be used to quickly loosen a bolt in plain sight. And my final tool that I love to use is a power probe. These are very useful for diagnosing electrical problems. Let's say you're having cooling fan issues, fan won't turn on. Well, you can use it like a regular multimeter to check power and ground, but you can also use it to power or ground a component to quickly find the fault. This tool was even used to start my engine for the first time when my ignition switch circuit stopped working. All of the tools in this list have their uses and there are certainly more than I listed, but these are my top 10 tools to use on a daily basis. That about does it for me this week. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.